Hello, my name's Carl, my call sign is Mike Zero, Sierra Suda Tango, and in this video I just want to talk about an idea I've got, one of the many ideas that I've dreamt up during lockdown, about building a portable satellite tracking and decoding system. So during during the past the past four months of this latest lockdown in the UK, the there's been very little opportunity for getting outdoors and doing anything that's meaningful around um, portable radio. So a lot of the tinkering that I've done, a lot of the pottering about I've done in the hobby has been mostly uh, from within the radio room. So as you've noticed on the channel, there's been one or two videos on Raspberry Pi based software based uh, radio projects such as the um, getting the sat nogs back up and running i briefly mentioned the r2 cloud system which i'll talk about in a little bit more detail and then alongside that i've been doing work on the laura the lora uh, projects and then i've also been working on a aprs direwolf aprx based system which i'll do another video on so on a, on a previous video I mentioned that I had set up from home an, a second satellite tracking and decoding system but rather than using Satnogs which is my main one from home which has the rotator and, and um, uh, all of the uh, uh, posh stuff at attached to it there's a second system that I've only just started using and it's called R2 Cloud and this is a it's a great it's a great package it's a great system to use because it fits more into the backpackable portable um satellite tracking uh, roaming type of activity and with, with r2 cloud again it it runs on a on a raspberry pi i've got it to run it took, it took a couple of hours just to get around is setting up on the Raspberry Pi. The reason why R2 Cloud is, I think, is an advantage over Satnogs is that I wanted to look for a system that I could, like in the morning, I could prepare all of the schedule of the satellite passes. This is much more geared up for. Hello. Hang on. Right, sorry about that. Betsy decided that it was just way too boring listening to me talking about R2 Cloud and Satnogs. So I, I wanted a, a system that I could actually take out on Raspberry Pi with the antenna and all the other bits that I need for it. It's it's quite a simple system to set up. A couple of hours of running, you know, following the examples on the on the GitLab, on the GitHub page and I had it up and running within, within two hours is up and running uh, it works off the uh, a very simple low cost dongle so it's not an expensive uh, piece of technology to run and the good thing about it is you can you, you can prepare your observation your schedule you can prepare, prepare that while you've got an internet connection once you've got your schedule then you can take the, the device the Raspberry Pi out with you with your antenna plug it in set it up power it up run the observations and the good thing about R2 Cloud is it will wait until you get a internet connection before it uploads all of the results up to the main uh, cloud server you can access the results on your Pi in the field if you really wanted to so one of the things that I need to do is hopefully in a few weeks I'll be able to get out and spend some time outdoors have like a field day of doing a bit of radio doing some APRS and doing a bit of satellite recording hopefully in a few weeks when we can legally start to leave home and go out and play radio I'll be able to give the R2 cloud a good uh, test over in the field so we're really looking forward to that uh, but for the moment it's just running from home collecting a few bits of data and giving me a little bit of insight on um, how easy and how robust the system is so hopefully uh, you will find that useful I've had one or two people ask about the R2 cloud so I thought I'd put a video together and uh, yep see you on the next video so bye bye for now